Family and Foundation Routine. I'm going to be showing you how I get a really natural face using the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. A bunch of you guys wanted to see how I use this bad boy, so that's what I'm doing today. I sound like a man, don't I? I feel like I've been losing my voice <coughs> since this morning. It's like I woke up and I sounded like Vin Diesel. But anyway, let's try to look past that. I love the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, especially on days where I don't want so much coverage. I want something really natural and light and this is perfect for that because this is mineral makeup which is good for your skin. It doesn't clog your pores. It doesn't do anything bad which is awesome for sensitive gals like myself. And my favorite part about this is that it is not cakey. A powder foundation that doesn't cake up on me. That's like, that's unheard of. As I say in every video, I have really dry skin. like really dry skin and powder looks so bad on my skin but this shows up beautifully on my skin because it has kind of like a luminosity to it which I can't explain um, it's not like completely flat it's not shimmery by any means but there's just like a glow factor to it I don't know how to explain it and it just makes your skin look really really healthy and radiant I love this. So I'm going to be showing you how I apply it, my little foundation routine with this guy. So the first thing I do is I always apply Fix Plus to my face before I go in with this just because I feel like it really hydrates my face. I just spray a crap ton of that stuff all over my face and just kind of let it sink in. I love MAC Fix Plus. It like hydrates my face really, really well. And then I go in with some concealer. Um, because this is such a light coverage foundation, it doesn't really cover blemishes or anything like that. So I do like to take some concealer and cover any of my like red patches or pimples that I might have. So I'm using the Yabby Concealer in the color Buff. And I just basically add this wherever I have a lot of redness around my nose. In between my forehead and on random little blemishes. I have a crazy creepy vein right here on my mouth that looks like a mustache. It's not a mustache. It's like this dark vein that goes down to my neck. Can you guys see that? It's like bizarre. I look like, I don't know what, why, why do I have such a large vein there, I don't know. So then after that I just take some under eye concealer and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the color Fair and I just pop some underneath my eyes because I get really bad dark circles. And then I just blend that in. Then typically I would go ahead and set that with my MAC MSF Natural, but since I am using a powder foundation, I just go ahead and set my whole face with the Bare Minerals foundation. The two different brushes I like to use with this foundation is the Sigma Angled Kabuki and the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. These both work really well. Today I'm going to be using the Buffing Brush. I just feel like it buffs the foundation into my skin very nicely. So basically I just take the cap off and then sprinkle some into the cap. By the way, my shade is medium beige, if I even mention that at all. I don't remember. I have bad memory. Then I just take my brush and kind of dip it into the cap and then take off the excess. And then I just start to apply it to my face. I first like to stipple this on. I know that that may seem weird, but I feel like it distributes the product better. I don't know, but I just kind of dab it onto my face first and then I'll go and I'll buff everything in.
and it is pretty buildable because the places where I have the most redness are right here on my cheeks and when I do like two or three layers of it it doesn't look cakey at all which is what I love it doesn't get cakey you can do all the layering you want and it'll still look really good okay so this is what my face looks like after I finish putting on the foundation I just add a couple more layers to the places where I get a little bit more redness like in between my forehead and right here on my cheeks and it does a good job of layering I feel I don't know if you can tell on camera but there is like uh, you probably can't tell <laughs> but in person my face looks like it's glowing there's like a luminosity or a glow like there's a lot of radiance to this foundation I don't know which I think is what makes this foundation so beautiful and it kind of stops it from looking cakey or too powdery my face does not look powdery whatsoever really quickly though I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back I'm back okay so basically I am obsessed with this foundation I have been wearing it every day to work I don't wear makeup every day but whenever I go to work I use this as opposed to like a full coverage foundation I only added a little bit of highlight to my cheekbones um, like literally a tiny bit just so you can see like how luminous and glowy my face looks um, with this thing alone with that being said I'm afraid that people with oily skin might not like this foundation I don't know I could be wrong since it's a powder and not a liquid maybe it might work for oily skin I don't know I don't have oily skin so I can't tell you if you do have oily skin and if you have tried this before let me know down below what you think about it but I do think this would work wonders for normal to dry skin like I said the coverage isn't amazing but it is really good if you have a lot of breakouts just use some concealer and then put this on top and I think you'd be good to go for those of you girls with oily skin though there is a bare minerals matte powder foundation it looks just like this only instead of it saying original it says matte and I've heard that that works for oily skin so definitely check out the matte version of this if you're looking into mineral makeup you know you want something that's better for your skin but you don't want this version because it's a little bit too like luminous or whatever try the matte one by the way I do recommend that you use a primer with this just because sometimes if I don't use a primer I didn't use a primer today but whenever I don't use a primer I feel like it sinks into my pores just a little bit like not something that's crazy noticeable you can't see it from a distance at all or if I'm looking in the mirror right now I can't really tell but throughout the day I'll notice that it'll sink into my pores just a little bit but whenever I use a pore minimizing primer that doesn't happen so just keep that in mind if you do have like large pores or anything like that okay guys so that's the end of this video this was my like review slash uh, foundation routine using the bare minerals original foundation I love this Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!